Hello everyone, I'm here to uh, discuss about the introduction to technical writing. So in this lecture video, I'll be sharing the different definitions of technical writing. And at the same time, I will be sharing with you the different examples of technical writing. Towards the end, I will also be explaining how technical writing differs to different kinds of writing. So to start with, I'd like you to think of words that can be associated with the word technical writing. So many of you may have heard already what a technical writing is, or you might have uh, read an article already related to technical writing. So any, can you share any word or words uh, that can be used to describe or any word that can be associated with technical writing? You may want to share as well uh, the different um, technical, uh, the different examples of technical writing that you know. You may want to share your answers in the comment section we have. All right. So let's define first what is technical writing. Technical writing is communication written for and about business and industry focusing on products and services, how to manufacture them, market them, manage them, deliver them, and use them. So as we can see in this definition, it is focused mainly on the business field or on the industry, okay? Uh, because, um, well, we cannot deny the fact that in the business field, technical writing is what they use, okay? And how can we prove that? If we want to, if we're going to look at the processes okay, involved in the business, from manufacturing them, meaning to say how the products are made, it already involves technical writing. And when the products are made, uh, because manufacturing a product may need instructions, okay, um, the step by step process to make a particular product, which will then be followed by the workers or uh, workers and machines okay and once the products are made the business will now market them to the target uh, target customers and in marketing them it involves flyers what else ads billboards uh, and although it was it, it's uh it is somehow traditional already but we still see billboards right now right um what else um brochures and so on okay um even in managing um, a particular business, it involves technical writing. When you manage a particular product, service, or the business itself, you will need to write memos, you will need to write letters, report, and so on. Okay, um, How to deliver the items that you sell, for example, from, your, uh, from, from the company to the different uh, stores, okay, or how... Uh, the product is delivered to the customer that again involves technical writing to how the the product will be used okay isn't it that when you buy a particular product a computer for example or a machine or an appliance uh, at, um, together with it is a an instruction or a manual okay and that manual uh, involves information how on how to use uh, the item that you that you bought okay so uh, that's how important technical writing is particularly in the business or industry now what are the different or what are the other technical writings that we have so you may see uh, you may see already some of your answers a while ago listed in here so we have memos emails Letters, reports, <clears throat> sorry, instructions, brochures, newsletters, the job search, web pages, flyers, PowerPoint presentations, and graphics. These are some of some of the examples of technical writing, but it doesn't mean that what you have answered, or if if what you have answered, uh, uh, is not. Uh, in the list, it doesn't mean that it's not technical writing anymore, okay? Again, these are just some of the examples of technical writing. And I'd like to emphasize that technical writing must be understood easily 
and quickly. Okay, it must be in... It, it, therefore, when you write technical writing, you do not do embellishments. It is not like a story even. But the most exciting part is near the end, which is the climax of this story. Okay? You have, when you write technical writing, you have to be direct to the point, okay? Some of these technical writings are even one page. For example, memos, emails, letters. Um, some of these are, yeah, few pages, okay? Why is it so? Because in the business world, um, it's act people are actually busy, okay? So if you write uh, a letter, for example, and it has a lot of embellishments and necessary information, then... Uh, it would take time to read it. And so others may not be interested in reading the report anymore or the letter anymore. Okay? Remember that when you write technical writing, what you do is to accomplish a certain task. Okay? So you accomplish it as early as possible by writing a letter which can be understood easily and quickly. Okay? So another definition we have in technical writing is this. It is not literature. It's neither prose, which recounts the fictional tales of characters, nor poetry, which expresses deeply felt or universal emotions through similes and metaphors. Okay? First, it is not prose because you do not tell stories, fictional tales. What you write in technical writing are all based on facts. Okay? It's based on, on the correct information. Okay, you do not invent stories in, 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 in technical writing. It is also not, uh, not poetry because the language is of poetry is so sophisticated that it takes time to really interpret the meaning of it. And, and it's so subjective that different people may have different interpretation of a particular piece of, of poetry. So if that happens then it is uh, difficult for a certain task to be accomplished, which is the goal of technical writing. Imagine if uh, a manual is written in a poetic form, right? Um, it may be dangerous because you may not be able to follow the instruction. So it may endanger uh, the, the user of uh, that particular product. So it's neither prose nor poetry. It is neither an expressive essay narrating an occurrence because in technical writing you do not do so okay it's neither expository also because you do not analyze a topic okay in technical writing um of course it is not also lit uh, journalism because you do not report news okay you do not report news that's different to technical writing um, technical writing does not focus on poetic images. This is that's more of a literature side, right? It describes personal. It does not describe personal experiences. No report who won the basketball game. It's more of journalism again. Okay, so that's how different the two uh, types of writing is. So technical writing is an instructional manual for repairing machinery. It is a memo, listing meeting agendas, or agenda rather. It is a letter for, from a vendor to a client, a recommendation report proposing a new computer system. So as you can see here, even the act of requesting or proposing a, a, a computer system, you really need to write, okay? And from this, we can actually reflect, okay? Um, in everything that you do uh, when you are in the field already it must be documented okay especially important uh, things okay even just requesting for a computer unit in your office you cannot just tell to the your to your principal to your head for example or to the authority to request for a computer unit Okay, but you have to write it for approval. Okay, you do not just tell it. I remember uh, the, the management of the university tells us, uh, told us before that uh, if it is not written, it is not official. So whether you say it, you have an agreement to that, but it is not documented, there's no written uh, a document for that, then it is not official. So everything should be written. All right? Okay. So 
it's point to ponder therefore that once as what students are employed you for example once you are employed will you have to write on the job now that we have defined what is technical writing and now that we know already the different types or different kinds of technical writing will you be writing on the job and of course whatever your job is the answer is always a resounding yes okay it's also good to reflect here uh, soon you will be writing um, we, we will be teaching students uh, you'll be teaching them how to write letters how to write uh, memos how to write the cover letter and so on how to write the reports and so on um, you, you have to let them realize how important it is because whatever their profession is they will be writing and your writing is a reflection of who you are okay uh, now let's take a look at this communication continuum for us to uh, understand better how the different types of writing differ from one another so you see here the figure and you see the arrow you can see the arrow here so as the arrow goes up the more that it becomes connot highly connotative the more that it becomes it, it goes down the more that it becomes highly denotative okay so um creative writing well we all know it is highly connotative okay because it recounts uh stories which may not be real okay it's imaginative examples of these are poems plays and stories so it's connotative and express it, it uses expressive words um it involves involves fictional character imagery and plot for expressive writing okay as you can see it is still generally connotative but part of it is denotative already why is it so because in writing expressive narratives you make use of personal experiences okay so it's not connotative anymore there's uh it's a blend already of connotative and denotative however it is more of connotative okay because it still uses connot yeah it, it uses uh, uh expressive words it's still uh more subjective okay but when we uh when we write expository writing it's uh it's uh between okay connotative and denotative okay uh, you make use of comparison and contrasting analysis cause and effect argument and persuasion it is objective but it is also connotative yeah it uses connotative and denotative words okay for journalism um it, it may be different because when it comes to news it must be fully and highly denotative but Gen, uh, journalism in general involves editorials right which is opinionated as well okay it involves features which may also involve our uh, opinion okay so journalism in general is more denotative but since we take it generally there's also part of it which is connotative especially features and editorials Okay, so um, objective, uh, written from factual observation, short sentences and paragraphs, some connotative but more denotative words. Okay, and lastly, we have technical writing. Okay, so technical writing, um, some of the examples of this involve memos, letters, reports, instructions, resumes, and web pages. Okay, um, and we have uh, the traits, objective, written about products and services, as we have discussed a while ago. Short sentences, okay, are short sentences are paragraphs are recommended to use in technical writing because again, uh, the shorter the better. You always have to think that you always have to apply the keys, right? That keep it short and simple principle, okay? Because again, your task here is to accomplish a certain task, okay? And it uses denotative words. Okay, as you can see, this is also highly and fully rather 
uh, denotative. You can never be connotative or expressive in technical writing. Okay? So that's how they differ when it comes to denotativeness and connotativeness of writing. Okay? I hope it is clear to everyone. Uh, to show you better how technical writing is uh, or differ from poetry, we have here the two examples. We have Ode to a Shoe, which is a poetry. Uh, we have technical specifications also. So if you're going to read this one, it is it uses words really that are difficult to understand. <laughs> uh, words that may be used only uh, or mostly used in poetry. Uh, and as you can see here, it, uh, if you're going to analyze it, it uses um, figurative languages, which is difficult to understand. And I am sure that you haven't seen okay, a, a technical specification of a product, especially a shoe, okay, which, is written, which is written this way. Okay? Or else you might not want to, to buy it anymore because uh, it's difficult to understand. Comparing to... A technical specification of a manufacturing tennis shoes herein that um, as you can see the description is very clear the description is written like this it doesn't have to be lengthy it doesn't have to be complicated and this is already an example of technical writing so which is easier to understand definitely this one compared to ode to a shoe okay now Let's try to uh, differentiate also technical writing versus essay. Um, when it comes to comparing and contrasting, uh, we will compare and contrast rather. Okay, uh, we have here the development. So how does the technical writing develop? Especially when we say development, how the paragraph progresses. Okay, for technical writing, we make use of examples, anecdotes, testimony, data and research okay for essay it's actually the same we make use of data research testimony and so on okay so both uh when you develop the paragraph we make use of the same component okay um in grammar both essays and technical writing um, grammar is important so, same for both. For organization, okay, for technical writing, it provides an introduction, body, and conclusion. Uses a subject line versus a thesis and itemization of points versus transitional words. So, that, that's how they differ. For technical writing, we make use of subject line. For essay, of course, we make use of thesis, <laughs> thesis statement. Okay, itemization of points. Itemization of points and transitional words. We itemize word, uh, itemize points in technical writing. Just like this one, it was itemized, right? Okay, but in, in, in essay, we make use of transitional words like moreover, furthermore, um, in addition, and so on. Okay, um, it uses topic sentences only when needed. Okay, so it's if it's only needed, depending dependent upon the type of length and length of correspondence. Now, in essay, it provides introduction, thesis statement, body paragraphs, transitional words, and topic sentence. Topic sentence in each paragraph. Okay, so there are similarities, but there are differences. They are similar in some ways, but different in others. Okay, when it comes to style, as we have mentioned already previously. It uses short denotative words. Short sentences are preferred and short paragraphs are preferred as well. Because again, we conserve time. But for essay, we use longer and connotative words, longer sentences. We use longer paragraph also. So they're totally different. In, in, in essay, mostly we make use of compound, complex, compound, complex sentences. In technical writing, simple sentences may do, but it's not always the case. In some instances in technical writing, sometimes we also make use of compound or complex sentences. Okay, For the document design, um, in essay, you don't need, <laughs> you don't need document design. 
okay because what's more important to to essay is the content of it the organization grammar development style but for document design um for technical writing it's very important it uses highlighting techniques graphics for example headings subheadings various fonts to emphasize something white space and even bullets so we highlight uh the content okay and technical writing but in essay it doesn't work that way okay so they're also different when it comes to document design all right so that's that's the comparison we have for essay uh, uh between essay and technical writing okay now let's take a look at the five components of technical writing first is uh the development what are the development techniques used in technical writing Again, the development involves uh, information you make use so that your paragraph progresses. So in technical writing, we make use of examples, anecdotes, testimony, data, research. We have mentioned a while ago. Grammar, it is important. Both are, uh, are important. But um, it is deemed more important in technical writing. Okay, But personally, when I teach... Uh, when I teach... Uh, writing essay i make sure that grammar is important okay however we have different styles of writing uh, for example uh, an, um, in in um, writing an essay you can have an introduction which is not traditional okay in which the what you make use of what you will be writing is not a sentence but a phrase or or uh, or, or an a blended word for example which is invented by you you can still make use of that and then you expound it in the body but it is not used in technical writing so although both are uh, uh, grammar is important in both writings it is deemed more important in technical writing i hope you got the point in a survey by gerson of over of Ger uh, gerson of over 700 technical writers this is in us uh, provide a uh, knowing that their first language is English, okay? Writers, coast to coast, ask the least important aspects of correspondence. 98% rank correct grammar as an essential component of successful writing. This is the reason why I had the tech, uh, diagnostic test first in your grammatical competence. And I had lectures on uh, the area of grammar, which you need, uh, you need uh, improvement because it is very important in technical writing and did you know that in us they spent they spent before millions of uh, dollars because of mistakes in technical writing how is it so if there's a mistake they will be reprinting it again so the cost uh can be uh, yeah, the, the, the 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 sum of the cost for the or or, or cost by uh, the incorrect writing is amounting to around one thousand uh, one one million dollars okay so uh when it comes to organization essays employ topic sentences transitional uh bit, yeah transition between and within paragraphs in the thesis statement technical writing does not okay um in a memo letter or report the thesis can be instead of a thesis what we make use of is a subject line instead okay since paragraphs are shorter in technical writing, often between one to three sentences than in many essays, topic sentences are less important. So as I have mentioned also a while ago, transitional devices and phrases are used in essay, essays, but in technical writing, they can just be enumerated by list or bullets. Okay, They could also make use of headings or subheadings. When it comes to style, um, in, in technical writing, you make use of yeah, short paragraphs, short sentences. And we clarify this, we can present pie chart or line graph. For document design, a physical, uh, it refers to the physical lay layout of the correspondence. Uh, we use highlighting techniques, okay, or graphics for visual appeal. But in essay, we do not use that, okay? So uh, those are the things that make technical writing and essay differ from one another okay i hope everything is clear to you but if you have questions you can just ask a question you can email me or you can uh chat me uh in the space 
okay? Or Google Space. With that, thank you so much and uh, God bless everyone.